Um, <clears throat> this is another um, um, we're seriously missing um, summer poem. This was uh, this is a poem based on walks I took earlier this year in blue skies and warm climes. It's called um, Feeding the Goat. The little girl is feeding the goat. She holds out a hand of hay. The goat has put his head through the wire. His upper lip quivers as his unseen teeth tear at the hay that the little girl holds out to him. She is not a meat at all and laughs her thumb and forefinger pressing the edge of the goat's ear. As he turns his head to tear at the dry hay, the little girl holds out to him, giggling at the soft brown fur she holds. The goat has long, swept back horns. The little girl wears a white hat, a layered skirt and a striped top. She offers the hay in one hand and with the other she strokes the goat's ear brushes his face, cups the goat's chin in her hand. The man who lives in the house beside the, goat, beside the goat's paddock stops in his car, asking, what are we feeding the goat? It is not his goat, and there is no feed left on the ground on the other side of the fence. The goat stretches his neck through the wire as the little girl moves away, uncertain of what it all means. And the goat bobs his head, his long, swept-back horns ripple in the bright light. Billy is the goat's name. The man sitting in his car is happy the little girl is feeding him hay. And the week before, an apple. He would have liked that. Now, the hay is all gone and the little girl looks at Billy, then up at her father. Billy lifts, lifts his feet and moves slowly backwards turns his head so his long pointed horns slip between the wire strung fence, going backwards without touching the taut strands. The little girl with blue eyes has nothing left to feed him. Billy follows her on his side of the wire as she, with her father and me, walk back the way we have come. Thank you.